Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome to our new home. Happy 2024. We have a new intro to start off the year. I really like this little tradition that we have to kind of refresh the look of the channel with Oasis growing so fast. I feel like year after year, he just looks completely different. So I feel compelled to like do a new intro. Hurricane and Milton stay the same. They're still the same adorable little angels. So for them, it, nothing really changes. But just for the Oasis part, I feel like I had to revamp it. It seems like I've been doing this video a lot in the past few years, like welcome to our new home, new office, new this and that. But again, Welcome to our new home. We are now in Florida. We are no longer California bound in the winters. This is our new home in Florida. For years, every winter and every chance we get, we always go to California. And since we got Oasis, we did get a house in California where we could stay every time we went to make travels easier and just to be more comfortable in our own home. However, we noticed that with a baby, traveling with two dogs and a baby, although it's doable, going all the way from Montreal to California is a bit taxing on us on the baby and on Hurricane Milton. I did notice that it, the travel is getting harder and harder on Hurricane Milton, especially on a six hour flight. They have to hold their potty so long that it was getting a bit difficult on them. So when we went to Florida last spring, I would say, for just travels, we realized how easy the transit was to Florida. But we did notice that year after year, California gets way colder than expected. We are in the Tampa area in Florida. We are slowly getting settled into our new home. Traveling was such a breeze this time around because we had all our things here already. So we travel with two luggages. My mom was there to help us. Honestly, a three hour flight versus a six hour flight makes such a difference. And California, the thing is that it, there's so many people, there's so much traffic that when we got to the airport, we always had to stay overnight somewhere because it by that point, it had been like 12 hours of travel already because we live far from the airport. So once we get to California, there's always another additional like two hours to get to wherever we live. So it was a bit taxing on all of us. So usually it involves a night at a hotel. But here we are in Florida. So far, the weather has been a bit gloomy. It is more humid than California, which is great for my skin. Honestly, I did find that California was like really dry on the hair, on the skin. But here with the humidity, everything is adapting pretty well. Everything here in Florida kind of seems familiar too. It's not very different from Montreal, I find. We went to Tampa to visit and to go out to a restaurant and it looked like very familiar. It's a new city. It's not very crowded. There's not a lot of traffic, which I love. We are about half an hour from the airport, which is totally so doable. It's much more doable than like an hour and a half. So for all those aspects, we are really enjoying it so far here. We are in a brand new community and Herky and Milton are loving it. There's a lawn guy like right outside. So the thing about new construction homes is that the isolation is so bad. I feel like this house is made of cardboard. They built these houses so fast. Like when we first visited here in July, they didn't even dig ground yet. And within four months, the entire home was done. It was absolutely insane how fast it goes. Anyway, so this point of the video is going to be how we are adapting to the new environment, particularly for Hurricane Milton, how they are adapting to new threats, new environments, new climates, and all that good stuff. So Florida is kind of different from California because there are even more predators here than there were in California. In California, we had to watch out for coyotes most of the time. And ever since we've been spending a bit more time in California, we were always very careful with coyotes. The girls rarely get any off-leash time in California, except when it's an enclosed area, a grassed area where we can see everything, but they never go out to the yard in the front or in the backyard on their own without a leash. We've always been very careful because of coyotes. There's hawks as well. In certain areas of California, there's even bobcats and mountain lions. So that was really scary because of the canyony type of environment. Here in Florida, what you have to watch out for is birds of prey. There are so many hawks out here, especially we are in a newer development. There were a lot of forests and swamps around here there's a lot of birds i see them circling around all the time and their wingspan is ginormous like they are so big they are by far 
like so much bigger than Hurricane Milton. And everybody that we meet that is Florida native tells us to be careful for the hawks. And the hawks could definitely get Hurricane Milton, especially Milton. Like she is so tiny. But I see a lot of hawks circling around here. So we have to be careful for those. There are some coyotes, of course. But the biggest threat in Florida is gators. Have, we are learning that any sort of water, man-made or natural, we have to assume that there's a gator in there. So we have to be very careful with a child and with dogs for the gators. That's why even before we got to here, we got the house fenced up. Andy is the paranoid one out of the two of us. So he definitely got this fenced up very quickly because there's a pond, artificial pond right in the back of our house. And we've been told that there is a 13 foot gator living right in there. They haven't done anything to remove him yet because he hasn't caused any, hey, 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 hey don't eat it. Milton is so into the tags. He hasn't caused any harm to humans or animals. He hasn't really been seen much. I am dying to see the gator, by the way. I've never seen a gator in my life. So I would love to see a gator here, but there is a gator that lives right behind. And every morning, Oasis looks out the window. He looks at the birds. There's ducks. But I would love to see the gator. I think we would all love to see a gator. There's a lot of little man-made ponds around here. So the threat of gators is definitely present. In this newer community as well, we love that there are so much walkways and paths and sidewalks that are huge. The girls are loving it here. They love the new scents and the new smells. They are thriving and we always walk them. We can do like really long walks around here because it's not hilly. I don't know if you guys remember in California where we were, it was like a canyony, mountainy climate so every time i had to get out of the house i had to like mind myself that i had to like exercise which is not a bad thing it's just i'm kind of lazy so and it's very a lot of effort to go up and down those hills it kind of got taxing on milton too with her little heart murmur you could definitely see that she could get tired easily flat landscape here it's been very very pleasant to walk especially in this cool florida winter weather i've been loving walking with the girls around here Herky and Milton are loving it. They are so active. I love seeing Herky having this like pep of energy. She loves going outside to smell and to walk. So they are definitely adjusting so well. They love this kind of weather. It's, it's cool. It's not too hot. It's sunny. It's nice. They love the winds as well because it transports so many smells and scents. So they, they definitely smell the air and you can see their little noses going when we are outside. Of course, because of all these threats, the Hurricane Milton are never even off leash by themselves outside. Even though we have a fenced yard, I don't want anything to happen, especially Andy. He's the paranoid one. They He doesn't want them to be outside alone at all. So even for a quick pee in the morning or at night, they always are leashed and with somebody. Unless they are so precious, you don't want anything to happen to your little pups. She literally is falling asleep with her little tag. So one other thing I noticed since coming to Florida is that Milton's eyes are a lot less stinky. However, if you notice, her stains are really bad. So Milton always had a lot of secretions with her eyes. And back in Canada, I noticed they stink a lot. They're very stinky, but here they don't stink as much, but they're, they're stained like very, very much. And when you dab it with a Kleenex, it's like legit stained, super dark. I I cleaned her face with shampoo like just two days ago and look at how bad it is. Um, you can see it under her mouth too. It's a bit more stained with her saliva. So it might be something in the minerals in the water or something. That's something we noticed. Yet Herky is perfect. Herky is always perfect. Herky never stains from the eye problem. Herky doesn't have eye problems. Milton does. So aside from the environment, they are very comfortable in this house. It's a two-story house so they go between up and down all the time and there's carpets everywhere here i don't know if it's like an american standard but we notice that the homes usually come carpeted but the girls are loving the carpet i'm not a big fan of it because it gets so dirty and it's going to retain fur and we need to vacuum all the time and probably do like a thorough carpet cleaning once a year but this is definitely the girls dream home they have nooks everywhere the house is so big you always find her at the most comfortable spots of the house. She knows where to isolate herself to not be bothered by Oasis. There's carpet everywhere. They love to take naps in the sun and they are adapting so well. I'm so happy that they are so comfortable here. They have shown no signs of anxiety whatsoever and I'm so happy for them. So this is going to be it for our video. We will be filming in Florida for the rest of the winter at least. So can't wait to show you, share more of our adventures. If you have any questions regarding Cavaliers, regarding travels, diet, walks, whatever it might be, 
leave your comments in the section below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Wishing you all the best for 2024. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.